Hello everyone. In a previous video I talked about and demonstrated the XLED low frequency which I have in my right hand here. And the XLED low frequency um, it lights up when it's near an RFID reader uh, that's low frequency 125 kilohertz or 134.2 kilohertz like this halo reader uh, which is compatible with the uh, XBT or XEM tag implants. And when it's near the XLED low frequency, it lights up. The XLED lights up under the skin. And I'm aware that it's uh, not designed uh, to be worn under the skin. Uh, the, wa the product page has a warning label. Um, warning, uh, do not implant this. But I'm aware of the risks and uh, I decided to do it anyway. Um, so this video is about the uh, XLED high frequency. Um, and uh, the XLED high frequency, uh, this is what it looks like. It's uh, similar to the XLED low frequency but with a different copper coil. Uh, so it's... Uh, um, it the LED lights up when it's near an RFID reader high frequency 13.56 MHz or uh, what NFC uses. And um, uh, for example um, with the PN532 NFC reader writer module um, the LED lights up when it's uh, within the reading distance and it's not only the distance but also uh, orientation. If I turn it 90 degrees then the LED doesn't light up because uh, then there's no magnetic coupling between the the reader device and the, basically the transponder. So that's uh, what the XLED is designed for to um, find the best orientation uh, the maximum reading distance and orientation uh, um, to read uh, NFC uh, tag implants or RFID tag implants um, because compared to um, RFID uh, cards or compared to um, uh, uh, the keychains or other such of the tags um, or even um, uh, some implants uh, with a larger coil like the um, uh, like for example this um, uh, this uh, uh, the flex anti tag implant or the uh, VivoKey pre-alpha uh, implant that I had replaced. These have a much uh, larger coil so um, you don't uh, really have to worry about finding the sweet spot. But uh, for the tech implants uh, that's the uh, size of a, a grain of rice. Um, the coil is uh, smaller so usually when you attempt to read it with a, with a smartphone or uh, electronic door lock um, or, or another uh, RFID reader, typically you have to find the sweet spot. And, um, and uh, yeah, th uh, that's uh, one of the reasons uh, why I uh, had it implanted because um, um, here in the right hand I have the XLED low frequency implanted and in the left hand I also have the I, I have the XLED high frequency implanted so when it's near NFC reader for example the PN532 NFC uh, module then it lights up under the skin depending on the maximum reading distance depending on the orientation I'll 
will show you a close-up in a minute. Okay, uh, this is part two of the video and um, I have my uh, table here uh, and on the, on the other side of the table I mounted on Arduino Uno and PN532 uh, NFC module and the uh, PN532 NFC module is here under the sticker on, on the underside of the table so um, you can see with the of the uh, diagnostic card from Dangerous Things that the uh, LED lights up when it's near, when it gets closer to the NFC module because uh, the Dangerous Things of the diagnostic card has two coils one for uh, low frequency in the middle in the center and around the edge for high frequency NFC um, then it lights up um, with the XLED uh, high frequency which is what this video is about um, the LED lights up when it's near within the reading distance of the NFC module and also orientation matters when it's in uh, this orientation it works rotate it 90 degrees and there's no electricity no magnetic coupling between the reader and the XLED and of course it works also under the skin probably hard to see but yeah it's difficult to see but the uh, LED does light up yeah you can see the LED lighting up under the skin um, of course I've got my second uh, PN532 NFC module here and when it gets near the, the XLED under the skin the LED lights up depending on the reading distance and orientation quite bright now to demonstrate this uh, with some Android phones um, um, let's see NXP Tag Info app of course the with the, this Huawei P20 Lite the NFC coil is near the top of the smartphone and this uh, yeah it works um, let's try with this uh, Samsung Galaxy J1 2016 model it's when the screen is on it's uh, scanning for attack to unlock the phone and it's nice to find the sweet spot with the XLED high frequency Let's try with the Samsung Galaxy S5. Let's 
searching for the sweet spot. There. I can also demonstrate this with the iPhone 7 Plus, where the NFC coil is also same as the Huawei P20 Lite, it's near the top of the phone. Um, let's launch an NFC reader app. Okay, now it's uh, scanning. Hold it near my hand, near the XLED, and it lights up and blinks. In my case, it scans uh, the XNT next to the XLED, which is why it read an uh, unknown tag, empty tag. But this video is to demonstrate the uh, XLED. Now to finish this video. Um, I've got a tattoo here. It's healing. Uh, when the tattoo is uh, finished, when it is healed, then I intend to uh, have another LED implanted, uh, for example, under the eye. And then, um, whether it's a X LED or maybe a new implant, that's a matter of time. But um, and then it would uh, light up the eye from under the skin. Maybe make the tattoo interactive. And I might use the um, the Halo reader, but without the casing. Uh, I might use uh, use it for, use that for this purpose. Um, with one Halo uh, reader, I took the casing, uh, uh, I took it apart, uh, removed the casing, um, changed the shape of the coil. Um, I might even uh, remove the, the display to make it smaller. And then wear it around my arm as a uh, armband, wristband. And then uh, to uh, to uh, light the LED, but then under uh, the skin of the tattoo. But that's a project for another day. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.